Dr. Baba, all the way from Kano. How are you? So finally, here we are. worship media you will see mr governor in a minute he is very determined to speak to us tonight he's made every effort and uh, i am indeed very honored that despite his busy schedules he accepted the invitation You all wanted Mr. Governor, and Mr. Governor is here. Very happy to announce that Mr. Governor is here, please. Hey, good evening, sir. I'm not here. I'm very loyal to you. <laughs> uh, good, good to see you. Good to see you. I was just uh, announcing to my viewers how tight your your schedule is but despite that you agreed to speak to me and i want to thank you for the honor thank you sir i welcome you thank you very much my brother yes sir. i won't waste uh, your time our usual protocol is to start with simple introductions everybody knows you but not everybody <laughs> will know where you are coming from so that there will be no mix-up, we always like our guests to describe, to tell the story of their lives, the trajectory. Feel free, don't be in a hurry. We have all the time. Instagram is very generous to us. So please, Your Excellency, you, you can fire on, sir. Well, thank you, my brother, Dele Momudu, I mean, for this uh, opportunity. And like you said, you know how uh, this period is for me, but I thank God Almighty. It's an opportunity for me to talk to the world over uh, to you. Um, of course, like I say, everybody knows me, but it's better for me to say who I am and uh, and then uh, where I'm coming from. My know that what my name is. Yes, uh, not to go too far, I, I graduated as uh, a Bachelor of Science and Political Science and Administrative Studies in the University of Port Harcourt. And I uh, went further to read law, and uh, I was called to the bar in 1998. I'm at the Great Guest of God today. I'm a library chair of the legal profession. But again, I am married. Uh, to a wife who's a judge, 
the university I got, of course, she was my classmate in the university, then to the law school, and we came out. I'm having love that said, we're able to marry, and we have three children, two boys and a girl. And I can say happily, they're all doing well. I came from a religious background. My father is a, is a reverend. Uh, it's a reverend, and all of us know how we came from. I'm just very simple, very respectful home. And uh, also from my community in the Paprikum. Paprikum is in Abra Kingdom. Abra Kingdom is in the Obiabo local government. Obiabo local government is in the United States of Nigeria. I was elected as a chairman of the government in 1999. We're having problem with the, Your Excellency, we're having problem with the audio, please. The audio. When, uh, the federal government idea. Yes, I, I'm hearing you, but the audio we lost you momentarily. Are you there? Yes, I can. I can see. I'm hearing I, you. I, I, yes, I, I'm hearing you now. I can hear you now. So, no. Yeah, I can hear you. Are you hearing me now? I can hear you. I can hear you. You can hear me. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, I became the chairman of only a monocle government in 1999. And then uh, this uh, about the uh, one local government will be in a distance or not. Uh, luckily for us, the uh, government came up and that we allow local government to continue to exist. And so in 2004, I reconstructed as chairman of only a monocle government and I won to 2007. And in that 2007, uh, by the case of God, who I was talking of who would be the governor of uh, River State in 2006, uh, God would in my individual room. And uh, my brother, uh, in 2007. And uh, the the, sorry, sir, the, the audio, M maybe we should take off. Yeah, maybe we should take off uh, those. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes. Now I think that's better. If if they can bring, okay. yeah, maybe they should bring the phone closer. Yeah, because people are complaining that they can't hear your audio. Yes, <laughs> yes sir. Let's try that again. Can you hear me now? I'm hearing you now, but it keeps going off. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Yes, I can okay. hear you now. So, uh, 2007, uh, my brother, uh, Dr. Lechi, became the governor by supermajority at the College of Supreme Court in October. Uh, that uh, he ought to be the governor of my should be the of the Supreme in October 26, uh, the, the, the audio, sir, is very, very bad. Can we get the phone closer to you? Maybe they should take off, yeah, they should take off the Bluetooth. If they are using Bluetooth, let them take it off. Then we use the natural, yes, let's use the natural thing. They can take off the, yeah, the Bluetooth. They can take it off. Yeah, you can hear the phone directly. Yeah, you can hear it directly. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, let's use the natural speakers. Okay, if... okay I'm hearing you now. Okay, fantastic. Okay, okay sir. So, yeah, so, so sorry, let's I'm sorry. take it from, yeah, from your, your first election. Yes, my first election in 1999, God within, I, I was elected by one most important local government in Nigeria. Of the Abu local government, and then I served in 2002, and there was this controversy then under the Obasanjo administration, whether uh, the local government was not to exist or not. But uh, uh, for whatever it is, they came up again that no, they should allow the local government to exist. So in 2004, I recontested, and I won that election very well, and I became the chairman for my second term. 
Then in 2005, 6, that they start building up of who will succeed Dr. Peter Dele, who was the governor of River State. And uh, God used us to play a very important role. And uh, my brother, uh, the Minister of Transportation, became the, uh, the, the governor after the Supreme Court judgment of October 25th, if I remember the very well. And then after I was made to be the chief of staff. Uh, after becoming chief of staff, I, by the grace of God, I was appointed, <coughs> excuse me, by the then president of the Federal Republic, Dr. Ebele Gulo Jonathan, as the Minister of State for Education. And thereafter, I was made to be the supervising minister. And I resigned in 2014 to contest for the governorship election of the state in 2015. And I won that election. And to the glory of God, I was sworn in in May 29, 2015. And that also led me to be the, 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 the governor. And I won again in 2019, and which is what I'm But however, before then, I was the deputy uh, president of uh, Association of Local Governments of Nigeria. And from there, I became the, 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 the national president of the Association of Local Government of Nigeria. But not only that, I represented Africa as a member of the executive board of the Commonwealth of Local Governments. Right? So I, I, I passed through this uh, period to become where I am. And so that's what I can tell you about my background today. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Now, you are one of the most popular governors in Nigeria, if I one of the most popular politicians in Nigeria. But every now and then, you tend to enter some controversies. What do you think is responsible? I mean, recently, let me give an example. In Edo State, because I live virtually on social media, everybody was praising you for your lion heart the way you entered Edo State and you made all the difference in Edo State. But no sooner after, the same people are now complaining that in rivers you are fighting your people and all that. What, what exactly is the, is the problem? Well, that is why you should know that uh, sometimes in Nigeria, everybody thinks, oh, you must continue to do the same thing. Uh, you have to differentiate things. In a new state, uh, there's an issue that we must have to stop God for that reason. And anybody who loves this country, who believes in this country, must say, look, enough is enough for our democracy to survive. We must stop this God for that reason. And in a new state, we have this problem where somebody who has said somebody uh, uh, not qualified because he was corrupt and facing EFCC charges, somebody who put acid on his fellow students, somebody who did this and that, and then turned around the game to present the same person to a new people. And, and, and who said, look, we can continue to do this way. When it suits you today, you say, yes, this is what it should be. If it doesn't suit you this way, you say, okay, this is what it should be. And so we all came out, and the new people came out, look, we are ready to support you to change this, this, this idea of God for that reason. And that was what happened. So it's a different scenario. Now when you say people say, I'm killing people or I'm killing my people, who are my people that are being killed? If I kill my people, who am I going to govern? Who am I going to provide infrastructures from? Who am I going to provide the roads? Who am I going to build the schools for? So who are these people am I killing? It is not correct. So if you will be able to tell me what people say, look, you are killing these people, you are killing that people, then one will be able to say, yes, I'm not killing these people, or I'm killing these people. Who are these people am I killing? So I will be able to know. Who so you think, are? so you think it's mere propaganda? Certainly, yes. Certainly, yes. If you want me to say, look, uh, Dele, uh, I can tell you this. I've been in politics since, not because as a chairman in 1999, I've been in politics before 1999. The truth of the matter is that people must face the reality in life. And what is the reality? 
you know what I face in this country. You know what I face in the hands of security agencies. You know what I have shouted. That look, we should not politicize the issue of security in Nigeria. When we begin to politicize the issue of security in Nigeria, we we'll have a problem. How did it start? I came in 2015. I had a problem. The problem was kidnapping. And I approached the federal government, look, don't look at it because I'm an opposition party. You have to come to my rescue. Nobody helped us. Nobody sent any special forces to us. And they sent to other states. Nobody did that. That's okay. We have to do all we can to help our state. Because first of all, we took out of our office to protect life and property. And so we should not be giving excuses because federal government has not come to our aid. So I have to do everything I could to protect the lives and property of my people. There's no one state in this country that suffered in terms of changing leadership of security agencies in Nigeria, in, like than the river state. In fact, in one year, I, I suffered where we had seven CPs. In one year, let one state mention, let one state mention who has suffered that. Because I mentioned, look, what you are doing is not a correct thing. I said, you are using SARS to kill our people. It is not proper. Nigeria said, oh no, you are playing politics. I said, it's not politics. Look into it so that this thing will not happen in other areas. Nobody came to our aid. No Nigerian country said, listen to the state. Listen to the governor. Nobody came to do that. Now, problems have come up. And like I've always said, today it is me. When I mean me, I'm talking about my state. Today it is River State. Tomorrow it could be our own state. Now, when this issue of insecurity started happening in all other states, federal government now woke up to say, oh, no, no, we have to stop this. We have to send special forces to uh, Ondo, to uh, Kaduna, to Sokoto, to Zafara, to Ekiti, to uh, Alhambra, to Eboi. But nobody considered to send any secure special forces to the states. That is one thing we have suffered in this state. But to the, to the glory of God, God has made this state to be peaceful. Now, the issue of SARS came. SARS was killing, killing, and we're saying SARS was killing. What happened? The head of SARS was promoted to assistant commissioner of police to tell him, thank you. You've done a good job. You've killed so many people. Nobody said anything. Now, the same SARS has gone to all other states replicating what they did in River State. Now, Nigerians are now working and say, look, we can't accept this again. Now, if Nigerians have listened to us when we were shouting, when we were crying, see what was going on. The distortion today you saw in all over Nigeria, particularly in Lagos, particularly in Ibadan, particularly in all other states, it would not have happened. But it was politicized. No, if it's a river state, it's politics. Nobody should bother. But now it has done on everybody that SARS is a problem to every Nigerian. And now they have come out to say, and SARS protest. Nigerian, the government have said, okay, we'll just ban SARS. I said, is it because when it happens to river states, nobody will bother. But now it has happened to other Nigerians, other states. We are not crying. That is another thing. Now again, you talk about me killing our people. Who is killing who? Not everybody knows in this state, in this country. We easily forget. I don't know why Nigeria is a place where you can forget easily. I have never said anything against IPOP. What have I ever said is IPOP. Yeah, I mean, you have your right to demand whatever you want to demand. But you want to do demonstration. I don't agree with you in my state. Do not disturb economic activities of my state. I need my state to move on. I need my state to get the revenue that should be able to provide the basic infrastructure for my people. So don't dis don't come here and demonstrate. I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know those who are behind IPOP. I have never, anybody who knows me too well, I don't say things I don't have clear facts. But again, what happened? Answers came to protest. The first thing was very peaceful.
every Nigeria, and I'm, I'm saying, including you, when you heard that I said there were no protests, everybody was saying, why would he not allow protests? We would, 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 would respect him. I laughed. It was a strategy because I got intelligence that, look, if you allow this protest, there will be mayhem. People are, who do not are trying to catch into this and destroy the state. And I said, okay, don't worry. In the midnight, we'll announce that there will be no protest. Now that way, numbers will no longer be high. Who loves say, ah, look, this one has taken a decision. It means let's not go out. So we were aware it was a matter of strategy. And when those who came out and we found out that there are no hoodlums, I came out and addressed them. I said, look, I am one of those, this is one state that started fighting against SAR. No, not any state challenging River State to say that they start protesting against us, the River State. And I said, look, I agree with you. SARS must end. But it's not only ended. We must have total police reform. Total police reform. Let's see that. Look at the police act. Look at the constitution. Look at what our protests in other countries that operate a federal system. How does it go? If you operate the federal system, what kind of police system do you have? In the federal level, what kind of police system do you have? In the state level, what kind of police system do you have? In the local level, what kind of local council, what kind of police system do you have? What kind of crime that the federal level will control? What kind of crime that the state level will control? What kind of crime that the council will control? It is very important. But see, in Nigeria, everything is power. No, if they are reducing my power, if they reduce this my power, I'm nobody. So let it be that one person at the center controls. We are putting a federal system, but we are putting a unitary system. Now, people now said, look, this answer I said, look, the master was peaceful. But my brother, you know the experiences of my political life. My political life has not been that rosy. I have, I'm one politician who has passed through a lot in life, politically. Maybe I will go back to tell you. When I started to be a chairman of local government, my brother Dele Momudu, I passed through hell. I was meant to face a murder charge. I was meant to face a murder charge. Maybe Nigerians are not aware of this. It is by the grace of God that I was able to survive it because I wanted to run for council chairman. Dele Momudu, I want to tell you, because I want to be a chairman of council, I was first to face a criminal charge of stealing. What is the stealing? I want primary. People want to change my, 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 my result. And by the grace of God, we are faster than them. We have gotten the document which they have agreed that I want. Now they say, look, they have to charge me for stealing. Look, I can speak to you because I wanted to be a chairman of local government. As a lawyer, I practice under issue Kala SN, 42 Agri Road. On a Sunday, there was a uh, full scarcity. Now, an abarul, opposite Savara Bank, there were, so I took my car, the queue was long. I wanted to take fuel, so I saw some military men, I, I, I beckoned on them. I said, look, I'm a lawyer, I'm going to call tomorrow. How do I get fuel so I can go back? And they told me, okay, hold on, queue up. When there's free time, we'll call you. And they beckoned on me. Then I moved you, I came in. And they called me in. As I was taking the fuel, a police officer came in and said, who are you? I said, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. What is your profession? I said, I'm a lawyer. Where, do you, where is your office? I said, 42 Agri Road. He said, okay, go. I took fuel. The following morning, I went to court. After court, I went back to the chambers. I saw the chambers, I saw an invitation to come to the anti-robbery in Burukiri, Port Harcourt. And I was a lawyer. How would I be an armed robber? So I went to the, to, to, the, to, the, to the police station. Behold, what happened? This, uh, the, 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 the security command said, look, uh, they are accusing for, uh, against you as an armed robber. I said, me? A number of them, how? As a lawyer, how? Before I knew it, I was locked up. And I laughed. The, 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 the boss came, who was a woman? I said, look, what's the problem? I said, look, 
I can't believe this. I came in from the court to my to, to the chambers of my boss, and I saw an invitation, and I came in on my own volition, and he's telling me as a number of them. Then I, everybody was surprised. So when my boss waited and waited, I wasn't back. They came in to the police station. I said, what are you talking about? He said, an armed robber? What did I do? Because politicians have gone to him to use him to tell me that if I was using a Mercedes Benz. And do you know what the man accused me of? That I came and robbed him of his rickety 504 car. You can't believe that. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. That is what we suffer in politics. And then I can tell you, the 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 the, the deputy the uh, the deputy commissioner of police today, KZ uh, Dudari, who by the grace of God is not a good health condition. Uh, this lady who is there today, uh, she did, she rose to the crime of a CP, uh, a woman. Um, Oh my God! Uh, for, for forgive me uh, for not remembering his name. But you see, yes. she became a CP in any state. But she was the, the she was the NC uh, administration. For the first time, I saw that they called. They brought me to the police headquarters and brought the man who said, "Look, this man was a man who robbed him of his car." They asked him, "This CP." One quarter. He said, you, you are robbed? He said, yes. He said, police officer, you are robbed? The headquarters was not aware? He said, yes. It's okay. What, what did the man, what did he do? He said, I hit him on his head. Then I told him, can you show us the head where the man hit you? He said, oh, you think has healed? They asked him, three days. The man broke your head, it has healed. We said, I will do respect to you. We said, let me Ereme, in a, in a blessed memory, the ceremony. I've never seen that. A policewoman slapped him. That is how you give police people bad name. See how you want to kill a young man. Politicians are using you. To kill a young man, to rob him for armed robbery, for what? What did he do? How will he use his own? Oh, look at his messages. And you are using a rickety 504. And the police command was not aware of such. Now, these are the things we have passed through in life. And for us, it's politics. These are things you must go through. And that's what Nigerian politics is all about. Now, you talk about in River State today, and I laugh. What is the problem? Very peaceful state. No problem, no destruction, nothing, not like that. Now, you wake up in the morning. I pop. They have been using Oyibo local government to want to attack on the people of the state and security agency. My brother, my brother, yes, you know the role the army played against my election. You know the role the security agencies played against my election. You know if there's one state that security agencies took over to win this state, security agencies did that. When did I get the power? What is the friendship now that I can command the army? I can command security agencies to go and kill people. But look, in any case, is it because if I have no good relationship with the army, if I have no good relationship with the police, if I have no good relationship with the security agencies because of my position of saying what you are doing is wrong, should I allow that people should go and kill the army people? Six army people died. One was burnt. One was burnt. Four police officers died. One of them, a rebel man, and was the neck was cut. Sorry. The neck. The court is to this guy. My brother. They burnt all the police stations. They burnt all the courts there. And then you tell me. As a governor, as you say, hallelujah, they have killed all the army people. They have killed all the police people. 
they burnt all the police stations. They burnt all the courts. That's what will make me to be a hero. That's what will make me to be, oh, I love hip hop. I will not do that. I will not do that. And you know in this country, when you kill a soldier, you know their, you know their position. When you kill a soldier, what do they normally do? They go for, after they fight to fight return. I have no, I have no authority. I have no authority. Except those who want to play politics. If I have authority and I could not control the army to come to stop them from coming to rig me in my election, if I have no authority to stop the police to come out, to, to stop them from rigging my election, then I have an authority to call the army to go and kill innocent people, assuming they are innocent. And I will call police to go and kill innocent people, assuming they are innocent. You know, politics in Nigeria is such a thing that we have to have a rethink. What is it all about? What is it all about? I will not agree that I will support people to go and kill any officer who did not do anything, who came to protect Oyibo. I will not support that police people should be killed because IPOC said they should be killed. In the first place, with all due respect, who is IPOC? Who is IPOC? IPOC will have the timidity to come to River State to change the names of the communities in River State as yeah. against <clears throat> what is provided in the Constitution. You tell me Oyibo is not changed to Oyibo. Now, yeah, I was that going to note, ask. I was going to ask about that. That a lot no, no, of but, but 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 again, but he, it's good now. So everybody should hear. I was not the first chairman. I never created this thing. This guy was created ninety sixty seven. Wrongly or rightly, the name in River State in the Constitution of Nigeria is. All ye will look at government. And IPOP will not say that they want independent rule of Biafra. I have no problem with that. But is it that I will allow my state to be used to launch to the disunity of Nigeria? No, I will not do that. I'm not a member of IPOP. In any case, if you say you want to secede from uh, Nigeria, it's your right. You have a way to go about it. But will you come and destroy my state to change the communities, the names as it provided in the constitution of Nigeria, simply because I want to be a good boy? The same IPOP people you know, I've never listened to Radio Biafra. They tell people, the best governor is River State governor. He has been doing this, he's a top person. To them, I was good. Now, you have come to kill soldiers, I keep policemen, bomb police stations, when the courts for nothing, then I become an enemy of I'm, I'm killing Igbo people. Look, the politicians should be careful. We should be careful to save this country. How has they come now to be killing Igbos? Okay, let me let me say, assuming they're not considered that they're Igbos. So criminals who are Igbos should not be killed. It's only criminals who are from Yoruba should be killed. It's only criminals who are from Dawson should be killed. It's only criminals who have been killed should be killed. No. And these three people, you and I know, no South East governor has recognized them and said they want to work with them. So why do you want me, as a reverse person, as a Niger Delta person, to say, yes, come and launch attack. Use my state to launch attack against the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You know I will not do that. I will not do that. I, so, but, but I never sent anybody, anybody, be it army, be it police, to go and kill Igbo people. We have lived in Igbos, we could not live with them. An Igbo person has been a commissioner in my cabinet since 2015 till now. And Igbo people supported me very well. It will be, it will be wrong that you say kill Igbo people. If you kill the people in River State, you chase the people out. You keep business in the state. So which rational person will do that? So all this politicking, people using politics of 2023 to bring you down, even if whatever it is, I will not agree. One of the most popular questions here. Yes, yes. Is that you are Igbo. 
and that you are denying that you are not Igbo. Are yes. you Igbo or not? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You see, people must understand things. We were in the Eastern region. Nobody can deny that fact. We are in the Eastern region. People interpret my name as Wiki. They don't understand the history of Wiki. In my play, Wiki means a newborn baby. Mm, see, see, Mwike is a new baby. Right? They said Wiki is a strong person or whatever. I don't know my point. Okay, I assume him. I'm an Igbo. I assume him, I'm an Igbo, as they said. So I should allow criminals in Igbo land to kill security agencies. I assume that. No, they, they don't issue. want. No, sir. They don't want you yes. to deny your Igbo who. They say, for example, your first name, yes. Ezenwo, is an yes. Igbo name. No, you that's... see, you, you see, you, you, you see, that's why. We have to be careful. My name is Ezebu Mwa. Ezebu Mwa. Now, now, you see, nobody can deny the fact of affinity with Igbos. Nobody can deny the fact that in our place, your mother may come from Igbo, your father may come from Igbo. We have had that cultural affiliation and affinity. You cannot deny that. Take for example, take for example, in the in the in the way uh, in Benin or Edo State, they've been with the Southwest. Is that not correct? Is that not correct? There are so many names. Yeah, Apata. There's Apata in Edo. There's Apata in Yoruba. So are you not saying the Apata in Edo is the same Apata in Yoruba land? That is spelling different. They may have a relationship, but that does not mean. That you had said, you know, people when they want to do something, they okay, assuming, okay, assuming I'm an Igbo, do not consider. Assuming I'm an Igbo, do not consider. But I am not in River State, right? So because I'm an Igbo in River State, so I should allow criminals from my area who they say as Igbos to go and kill security forces, agents. Is that what I'm trying to say? I'm not one politician that for whatever political mileage, I will not change my identity. I will not. I will not. And, and people should understand that. I've given you a difference between Abata in Edo, Abata in the West. I don't say Abata. They may have some relationship. You never can tell. After all, there's nobody that can say you came on your own. We have all links here and there. Some people trace, okay, tell today. Some Ukraine people in their own history say, we come from Benin, right? We come from Benin. Okay, I may believe the history. History is not something you can say. It's sacrosanct. Some people have their own views about history. No, from what we have read, you have people came from here. From what we have read, the book came from it. But as you mean, people now say we are from Benin. Position is now zoned to Benin. Therefore, I will go and contest that election because my history, my progenitors, my origin, they are from Benin. Okay, like you, Dele Momodo, you are from Yoruba. I hear you came, or do the word descended from heaven. Maybe. No, I'm, actually, some... I'm actually from Medo State. Ah, uh, okay, no, I'm just sorry. Uh, Okay, fine, you see? You see, the <laughs> dilemma, you see? The Medjiwa, from the Medjiwa too was from Edo State. Oh, you see? You see? No, but, you see, some people will now say, you are from the Yoruba, because your name, you are similar. Your name resembles a Yoruba name. So, when you and people here say, I am from Igbo, they may be right because of the name. But you cannot say, let them trace my history. I'm not going to run away. I have nothing against the Igbos. I've lived with them. They're very good people, very entrepreneurial, very innovative. But that does not mean I will change. I will not do that. And even if you convince me today I'm an Igbo person, uh, okay, okay, let me say I'm Igbo. 
Igbo people are Igbo today. So does that say I should go and allow this Christ to go and kill innocent security agencies? Look at what one boy, I don't know his name. I heard you targeted him. I don't know. I, okay, let me remember. I was told. Um, they say he, he has eye problem. You, you know his name? Ma, ma, ma ze, nam kanu. Okay, I, I, I don't know his name. Now, thank you very much. Now, they said, no, no. he said, no, 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 no. I have never in my life, never in my life, in fact, from what somebody said, see, I don't read all this. I'm not in social media. I'm not in all this. Ah, but it's all over me, all the newspapers. No, no. In fact, people tell me, my commission of information, my SA media, they tell me what they read. I said, I've never met this guy. He said, oh, they supported me. How? From where? I've never met you. Ibo Sleep University. Would I like it or not? The universe leave the river state. Would I like it or not? The house out leave the river state. Everybody look at the people who are contesting the election to say, look, this one would think would do a good job for reverse people. It's not for you as a person. I don't know now the guy, I don't know, what do you call it, Marcy? I don't know what's called Marcy or whatever. Okay. He says Marcy. But I've never met him. I've never seen him. Never one day. And people just bring sentiments upon sentiments upon sentiments. I will never, never, never in my life deny the evils. When we're in Eastern Nigeria, we have a relationship. We have a relationship. Nobody can deny that. And it was that strong. But to say, okay, assuming we're Igbos, assuming, but River State is River State. And by the Constitution, but by the Constitution, this local government is called Oyibo local government. Now you come from Abia State to, tell, to change the name of a constitutionally recognized local government that is no longer Oyibo, it's now Obibo. You come to protocol local government to tell them this is what local government should be. Who would allow that to happen? No, well, tell me, who would allow that to happen? What is said is that yes. Biafra yes. covers 13 states yes. and rivers happens yes. to be one of those states. Okay, can Biafra I tell you? Covers. Yeah, no, that's can, can I tell you? Can I tell yes, you? Yes, yes. It's a, with all due respect to you, don't say I'm very abusive. But uh, please pardon me to me. It's very insulting to the mass people. Very insulting. You know what happened in the Civil War. Everybody knows what happened. Some people supported Biafra. Some people were with Nigeria. You know that. So it would be wrong for him to say during the Civil War that everybody that was in Biafra covered River State. It would be very, very wrong of him to say that. If, for example, a particular people supported Biafra, you don't take it. You don't do wrong about it. Everybody looks for where, where will you suit us? What will be our own interest? But to, for you to say, because some sections in River State supported Biafra, means that the whole River State supported Biafra. It is very childish. It's very uh, uh, something you can say is 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 not quite uh, uh, informed. What which of what what I'm telling? Which history did he read? Let him tell me the history he read. Does he know about Adaga, uh, 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 Adagaboro? Does he know that in River State you have a lot of ethnic groups? You have the Calabarese, you have the uh, you have the Okrikas, you have the Quares, you have the Epeyes, you have the Abuas, you have the Che, you have the Ogonis. All these people, that's why River State is one state. You cannot say you have one, one ethnic group. That's why it's a complex state. You cannot say. So is it telling me the Ogonis are Igbos? Is it telling me the Calabaris, the 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 the, the, the Crickers, or the Jaws in River State are Ogonis? Is it telling me the Epias are Ogonis? Is it telling me the Obas are Ogonis? 
Is it telling me the queries are going to show me because we may have some relationship in terms of names, just like you said, Dele Mamudu, Gedele Giwa, who you would think are Yorubas. What kind of history are people bringing? I will not be a party to that. Your Excellency, I'm a very, very objective journalist. Very objective. Yes, I, I, want I, to say, want to yes. I, I want to say with every sense of emphasis and without yes. any contradiction that I yes. believe IPOB has become a very formidable force, not just in Nigeria, but globally. And where I'm going is yes. that in order sometimes to have peace yes. in a state or in a region, yes. Yes. don't you think it is good to reach out if to people even if, if you don't know them? How do you reach out to people you don't know? Tell oh, me. I'm sure. I, I, I mean, when I wanted to reach him, I yes. never met him. I called people that I knew would be in contact with him. I'm just thinking that it will save a lot of lives, save a lot of money, I mean, stabilize the state. If there is a way yes. that you can call people, because everybody in the state is under the governor. Yes. So, and it's your duty to protect every one of them. So, they, they are feeling bad that, okay, they said you offer the ransom, that you even offer the ransom of 50 million. And that yes. so uh, can also offer his own ran a counter ransom of 100 million. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> what led to all this, sir? Okay, let me tell you, I'm not at Kano's level, with all due respect. With all due respect to you, I never offer any ransom of 50 million to anybody by Kano. Now, people should understand this. That's why I say people are playing politics of 2020. It's their business. A young woman went and took some IPO people to One. You know the position of One. One is very fundamental and very, very important to the economy of Nigeria. Now they went and blocked One that MPA did not give them money and this and that, and even took fake cops to block the place for some days. And they were pleading, look, this is not the way to go about it. The parliament ruler, an elderly man, 80 something years, look, you don't do this. He went and took some airport people and went to burn down the hotel of the son of the traditional ruler and even burn down the traditional ruler's house. And I said, I will not accept that. It is unacceptable. And I said, anybody who can get him will pay 50 million. Luckily for him, people went to him and he surrendered. He came. He said, please. He came by himself. I said, well, look, I'll hand you over to the police. Let the police investigate your matter. When they do investigate your matter, then they will know what to do. I never put 50 million or some that's an airport person. I only said he used uh, airport people to go and burn down the premises of the traditional ruler and the source of time. Now, you say I should talk to somebody whom I don't even know. Who, where he comes from? Who is speaking for him? Who the hell is him to put 100 million bounty on the governor of state? Does he think the governor of state is one of those people he can threaten? Are you telling me for peace? Which peace? Which peace are we talking about? Okay, let me make peace with him. And you, you, you now support other groups to come up. You must make peace with them. What is the peace? Is River State a Southeast state? For Christ's sake, that you come and begin to put Delhi Mahmoud will tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. You are saying you are a serious and committed journalist, and which I know everybody knows you. You are from Aochi, you are from Edo State. You see a group coming from the Yoruba land, putting a flag that they own the whole of Aochi and they want independence. What do you want what what will it what, what will it tell your people? To go and negotiate with them when you know it's fake. Okay, when you negotiate with them, who also tells you if you have a band with Kogi people that people from Kogi will not come and put 
uh, flag. Now look, this is Kogi State. What would you tell them? Let's go and talk with Kogi people. Who also tells you that people from Delta states will not go and say, look, uh, I don't, this area you're talking about is not correct. This is the boundary of Edo, uh, Delta and uh, Edo. What would you do? You go and say, let's go and talk to them. We cannot begin to pamper criminality. I will not. I will not. I will not. I will not pamper criminality. I believe in this country. And I continue to stand for the unity of this country. I will not allow where well, one means can because of what he wants to get, what he, we would think he is from somewhere to organize, having the capacity or ability to organize people who contribute money to him, for him to say, let us foment trouble, and then let's talk to him to, for that to be peace. Let me tell you, there's nobody who went to school or what they call school of trouble. There's nobody. There's nobody. There's no university called school of trouble. There's nobody. There, there's no school called school of hoodlum. Dele Mamudu, you choose to be a gentleman. You choose to do this work to help humanity and society. Dele Mamudu, you can tomorrow say, to hell, I'm not going to do this again. I'm going to be a problem to this society. I'm going to be a problem to this country. It's not that you want the university to read it. There's nobody who wants to any university to really have to carry gun. No, with all due respect. No, no, so I cannot, I will not, and never will I do it as a governor to begin to tell you, I will call somebody who say he will have a Jewish cap and said he's somewhere. He has spoken. If you see any soldier, kill him. If you see any policeman, kill him. And therefore, the governor of the United States, I want peace. Let me call him, call everybody. Daily, I won't do that. I will not do that. Nobody is a monopoly of violence. Nobody has it. Nobody has the best gun in this world. Nobody. You don't know what another person has. You can't threaten me as a governor of the United States from Niger Delta that you will attack me. And I challenge anybody, anybody, I will go overseas any day. They, let anybody dare. Let anybody dare that you try to say you want to attack me. I will, you see, Dele, did you go to school of gentility? <laughs> Tell me. No, no, did you go to any school called school of gentility? No. Did your mother send you, your father said, there's one university called school of gentility. When you go there, read gentility. I'm just a gentleman. I said, look, my, my parents have trained you. Behave this way, this is the way it's supposed to be. Be a gentleman. Be kind to people. But that does not mean anybody should take you for granted that daily you can kill. Nobody should, nobody should say so. Nobody should say so. You can't tell me you will kill me and then you think I cannot kill you. Who told you that? Who told you that? The law allows me to defend myself. If you want to attack me, I will attack you first. So, look, of all I have said, tell me where the river state has gone wrong. Why will I negotiate with court, say, IPOM? It's a terrorist group. Am I the one who says so? Has there been any judgment that has set that aside? Do you know if I did not impose a curfew, what would have happened in this state? There was a fight between the houses and the Igbos. Do, do you know the prison attack? What would have happened in the, in the Aousa land where they would have said they are killing Aousa people in rivers? In Igbo land where they are saying they are killing Aousa people? My brother, is that the way we should live? Because you allow like criminals to take their way and then we begin to kill ourselves on ethnic basis, on religious basis, which is not the best. So I will not, I will not, I will not, for whatever reason it is, to sit down with any of the criminal element, all these Yahoo Yahoo people who think for what they do now, they use plus four, four, plus one, plus this to tell you, we are here what you are doing, they will kill your parents, they will kill your children. 
So be it. If you came as children, no problem. If you came as parents, no problem. If that is a sacrifice we must make, so be it. But I will not allow IPOP to destroy my state. I will not agree. No amount of blackmail, anybody will tell me, of politics, will I accept that? I will not do that. I am not here for any popularity contest. I'm not here to be president or anything anybody can think of. But I'm here to defend my people. How can you tell me you come to my state to put a flag? How can you tell me to change the names of my communities? And nobody's talking about it. Dele, okay, Dele, you are very objective. You are very objective. I, I know. Very. Now, now, the constitution of Nigeria has created local governments. Is that, is that not correct? Yes. Now, if somebody from another state come to your state to say, no, this is not the name of your local government. It is their own name. How do you feel about it? And to well, put a flag. No, yeah, no tell I, me. I, I, I'll be uncomfortable. Not only uncomfortable, uh, Boko Haram was putting flags. What do you tell Nigerian government? How do you allow Boko Haram to see part of Nigeria? How do you feel about it? Uh, but the same government was negotiating with Boko Haram, sir. Oh! That's what you say. They were negotiating. No, uh, they negotiated. Uh, they rehabilitated. I'm, I'm, okay. Even, the, even in the Niger Delta, when yes. the militants were fighting, that's yes. why they set up a special... No, no, no. You, you, are, you see... You are confusing. The Niger Delta people are saying, listen, we produce the money of this country. We produce the oil that is the mainstay of the economy of Nigeria. Where have you kept us? We must differentiate it. For but, question. But, but Boko Haram definitely they rehabilitated people. I, 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 you, you, you people know that. I, because you are part of those who brought the government. You brought part of the you, you brought the government, so I am not. I I have never been a part of you people who brought the government. So that, I don't that, know. That's, that's <laughs> a punch <laughs> below. That's a punch below the belt. No, no, but but I know the role you played. I know the role you played. You 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 are one of those who brought down Jonathan's government. True or not? No, no, yeah, true I, or not? I agree with you. No, but then no. that, so but, but, but if, if you. Are, I pulled out when I saw no, that. No, no, but my after expectation. the damage, after the damage has been done, uh, after the damage has been done. But, but that's one of the unfortunate yes. uh, sides of democracy. You have to yes, keep I trying. Do. If a government is useless, you remove it. Then if no, no, the no, next no. one is useless, you remove it. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. You must also watch. You see, take for example. And that's the problem I've had. You know, I congratulated... Uh, uh, the president of the country, Muhammad Buhari, when he won in the presidential tribunal, kind of appeal, you know that? People say, why did you congratulate him? I say, why not? The court say he has won. Why would I not congratulate Even though the president does not congratulate anybody from the opposition, right? I did that. The next Sunday, I went to court and I told Nigerians what the president is doing on this and this. It's not right. It's not right. People say, who kind of human being is this? I said, why do you say so? Why, why do you say so? You remember when I wrote to the president for them to refund me the state money? Your friend, Femi Adesino, used me to think that he'll be Minister of Information. And he was writing all kinds of things. I, I was brought up very well from the home. When a man does well, Say you have done well. When you have done bad, say you have done bad. If you have not done well, you have not done well. I, 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 have, I, I owe no apologies to that. And I said, look, President, for you to approve this money, reverse people want to thank you for that. But that does stop reverse people to say, but Mr. President, you have not paid attention to Russell. Right? That is how politics is supposed to be. But yeah, everybody thinks you must say, yes, 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 yes. The day you say no, oh, something has happened. Why I call this matter that? I remember, you know, I know you very well. Very articulate, 
very objective person, somebody I respect. If Thank I don't you. respect you, you. you know me, Thank you know me too well. I will, I will tell you, uh, daily I won't be here. And that's why I tell you. But yes, you've made a mistake. Yes, you start to withdraw. But how do you now correct those mistakes you have made? That have been so damaging to the country. That have been so damaging to the country. How do you do it now? So the only way is through election. In, in America, for example, I, I didn't so I, I wouldn't support Trump. I, I supported Trump. I'm, I I'm a true believer of Trump. And I'm because, a true believer of Trump. No, because you are tough like him. You, you are tough. No, no, it's not. No, no, no. It's not a question of tough. Too tough. See? No, no, it's, it's not tough. It's not tough. Uh, then it's, it's not tough. The point is that, you know, look, some of us, we, we have our conscience, right? Look, I prefer a Trump than to go to any party that supports the gay. I will not. It's my conscience. It's my religion. It's my belief. Trump may be anything you want to say, but because Republicans do not support gay and taking life. And uh, from they, are taking, school, they, they are using the police to take lives of adults. Oh, no, 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 please, please. no, 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 please. Yes. No, 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 no. You see, you when... are changing from, you are changing from a defense thing. You see, that's why I say, let us be objective. Look, whether Trump has won or not, it's not the issue. The issue here is this. I come from a religious home. I know what it takes. I have no relationship with Trump. I'm a Republican. And I owe no apologies to anybody. I do not owe any apologies. My wife voted for Biden. She's an American. My son voted for Biden. I told them, people are just... Vote. No, 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 you don't need to clap hands. I don't give... I told them, I don't believe in what people are doing. But as a Christian, and I believe in my religion, not to support gay. I believe not to take life in terms of abortion. It does not matter. You can vote against Trump or not, but my religion is my religion. But I hate people when you now come up, when you now come up to say, for because of politics, ah, this one should go. I don't care about this. That's where we're saying principle. We don't believe that's why the problem in Nigerian politics, no principle, nothing. That's why the two parties are the same. The two parties are the same. So for me, for me, and I would have told you, if Nigerians can rise today, to say, look, I neck, we need a total overhaul of the electoral system. We need a total reform of the electoral system. Mr. President, we want a complete give us that we have a free and fair election in 2023. Mr. President, look, for you to give us a free and fair election, how can you bring your media aid? How can you bring a member of your party to be a member of what you call independent electoral commission? This is how this is start. Nobody's talking about that. We're talking about criminals who have come to kill people. Today, if Nigerians can rise, to say, I make you. let us know now. What are you doing? There must be an electoral overhaul. We need something that must be credible. Mr. President, what are you talking about? 2023 must be fair and fair. Only credible people will allow our vote to count. You will see the kind of support you will get. But that's what Mr. our President, young people, sir, that's what our young yes. people try to do. No, no. That is my problem with them. That's what I said. In everything you do, in everything you do, you must not, you come to say, and serve. Is that not correct? Is that not correct? Yes, please. Okay. If you have said, these are our items, you say you answer. Serve is not a major problem. And serve, serve has ended. I don't know, it's not the same police. Are you going to scrap them? They're not the police. You won't scrap them. It's not true. We have no, major we problems. Yeah. Right. We have major problems in this country. And what are the major problems? Our electoral process is a problem. It's a serious problem that you and I 
and the youth should come out and converse and say, look, the way it is, there's not likelihood that we'll have a free and fair election. And when you don't have a free and fair election, you can't have true governance. And that's the truth of the matter. When, you, when I use my power to go to INEC, to use the security agencies to rig my election, am I, am I loyal to the people? Will I say the people elected me? No. I'll say, after all, the CP, same people. After all, the garrison commander. After all, the GOC are those who made me to win the election. So what do you want everybody to say? We must not shy away from reality. We must not. There's so much multifaceted problems in the country. Let's take it. The one that is very important to us now and what it is. We are going for 2023 election. Yeah, Hello, I was Mamudu. coming. We, uh, okay. I was okay. coming to There is no way I'll talk to you and not talk about 2023. Okay. It's no longer a rumor. It's yes. everywhere that yes. Governor Isom Wiki yes. is likely to be a presidential candidate yes. or a vice presidential candidate. Yes. What is your mission and what is your ambition, sir? <laughs> you know, you know why do you know why I'm happy? You people in the media. You prepare the soup, you cook the soup, you talk about the taste of the soup. The problem is that when you see a man who is doing something, you, be, you think that this man is doing this thing for nothing. There must be something somewhere. No, but you that said that people are attacking you because of it. So there must be no, something. No, 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 no. Because, no, no, I said, because they perceive by his performance. He's not just doing it for due sake. Who is the second time governor that's working the way he's working? There must be something somewhere he's looking at. And that's the problem we have in this country. In any case, let us start with. I want to be president, for example. Mention. And those who are the president, have you not been seen them consulting? Mention where we can went to consult with anybody. Have I met you one day to say, yes. Then I know you are you very strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your pen is so powerful. Even with this program, you are too powerful. Tell me one day. You are a friend to my predecessor. You are a friend to me. Have you ever one day met you to say, Dele Luku, see what I'm thinking about? How do you look at it? Let one person say, we can, the way he spoke to me is like, the likelihood, I think, or oh, let me not be too wrong, is believing if anything happens. Look, I've been too much, I've been in this game. People have interest. People can come to you. Don't you think you will do this? Maybe the small thing I have to take care of my family, they want to take it from me. I'm not that kind of politician. No, sir. When is it, when is it, no, president? no, 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 no. When is it, president? Does anybody run for vice president? Is so, there any concern? You, you could have an agreement with a yes. group of people. I, yes. When I ran in 2011, yes. I approached Masi Rufai that I wanted him to be my vice president. And yes. his advice was that we should have something very similar to the shadow cabinet in England, yes. where yes. a group of people would have agreed in advance. And I think that is what Nigeria should do anyway if we are going to have good people in politics, where you know who is going to be our Minister of Agriculture, who is going to be in charge of housing, who is going to be number one, number two, number three, number four, which was what Saraki and Co. tried to do, and it backfired in APC, when some people tried to block it. So it's possible that you have such an agreement, but the, 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 but the main thing is that, is that who, 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 who. it is possible. When okay. you stormed at those states, to me, yes. you yes. appeared like the leader of opposition that day. You no, no, stayed I, I, there yes. and you made sure you delivered. Yes. That is, so if people are now saying and they are beginning to see you as a leader of opposition, you can't blame them. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. I didn't go to it. See, that's why you should get me right. Let me tell you. The governor of those states, 
I, 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 I never spoke with him one day. All through he was in APC. As a governor, I never spoke to him. Ask him. Ask him. You know, people don't understand me very well. All through he was governor. Ask him whether I spoke to him. No way. Because I came to a doorstep to campaign against him. I was working for my party. He saw me as an enemy with Oshobode. And I said, that's their business. I came to work for my party. Now, when they said he was coming to my party, I said, look, no. You cannot just have everybody. People have built the party before you are coming. Therefore, everybody must sit and to say, look, what do we do? You can see, that is the difference I have with people. You are coming. Yes? Should everybody be just away? No. So what happens? Give and take. Who will have this? Who will have that? Like you said, you shadow, you, you people who believe in the British shadow government, who will be this, who will be this. Those things are theories. Theories. You see, we must not take hook, line, and sinker. What is operating in UK that must be operating in Nigeria? Our environment, our circumstances are not the same. In Nigeria, religion, ethnicity, play a lot of role. In England, you don't have it. You don't have it. So you must be very, very careful to balance of things. But let me not say that now, don't take it far. In a those state, I told them that what you are doing is wrong. We must sit down and talk together. And that was why I sued your friend, Ndoka Ebebuna, this day, and his people, when they wrote with a friend that we came, Obaseke, uh, Mrs. Uh, Doom, where he did not try to do all kinds of things. Because I said, we shouldn't go that way. Let's keep the party together. Don't divide the party. If we divide the party, Obaseke will lose the election. And true to it, they came and said, you are right. And we agree. Every aspirant withdrew for him. And we went to that election. And I told them, why will I be the chairman of this campaign? A lot of people felt I didn't want the Basaget to win. Which was not correct. I was not saying, the way you are going, people will lose the election. Put everybody together. And look at what happened in on those states. But I said, put everybody together. Now, having put everyone together, I will lead this campaign. And I did. And to the glory of God, not by my power, all of us work together. If he had the altercation had with the IG and the rest of it, I said, look, we cannot do this way. We won. But in Ondo, that will not happen. If the party had done, that does not mean that APC and the government did not do one or two manipulations. But first of all, you put your house in, the, in order. Then, with that, you can now fight your enemy. So, the point I'm making is that it is not true of anybody that wants to say it is no longer a rumor. You are the one carrying the rumor that Wiki wants to be president. Some people said Wiki wants to be president because I mentioned the president. According I... to your brother, according to your brother, uh, uh, oh, our vice president. Look, I don't betray my friends. Uh, 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 um, I mean, Tamboa is my friend. And I tell anybody who cares to know about it. I was going to I'm ask coming. you about him. Now you went no, against... No, I'm coming. I'm coming. He has never... I is my friend. I will not deny him. I'm not those kind of people who play politics of what you want to get. Now, when they said Atiku was running, I said I was not going to support Atiku. I was going to support Abinu Wazir Tamboa. And I stood by him. I'm not one of those governors who will come to you and talk to you in the morning. And then in the night, I said a different thing. Then he should know me. But after that primary, that Tambawa lost. There's no one state among the PDP states can say they supported Atiku more than River State. I challenge any state that can say that. In fact, 
You remember? You remember? When Buhari came to campaign in River State, the DG of, of the Buhari campaign said, Mr. President, I will not go with you again. I'm going to match them here. All I want to ask you for, by the time we finish with them, thank us. He said so. And then he sang an evil song of war song. I said, we'll look at it. It's okay. What happened? President did not get 25%. But the president thanked him with the Minister of Transportation. So, <laughs> you see, now that politics is not that look. Tambo was my friend. If you like put me, put that here, come out here, I will not deny him. If Tambo comes to tell me today, he wants to run for president, that's okay. Have you looked at the situation in Nigeria? Have you looked at how things are going? What is this or what is that? I was yesterday in Sogodo State. I went to flag off his construction of teaching hospital. He was the one who commissioned the medical school of River State. And I said, you haven't done that in the past two years when I invited you. I will come. And I commissioned water projects that, that, that you so touchy. But when you do that, people say, oh, you know, there must be something. But see, I went to Bauchi to flag off roads. Nobody said anything there. But because I went to Sokoto, there must be something. I assume there's something. So what? So what? So what? Who is so, that person that's more qualified? Your Who, Excellency, so what? No, what will, so what will happen yes. if uh, once upon a time you and Amici were the best of friends? I know that for a fact, that you were very, yes. very close. So if yes. tomorrow Amici wants to run as president and Tambua wants to run, where would you face? If Tambua wants to run, and I meet you once around. In which party? Okay. Technically, okay. <laughs> I, 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 now you see, see, you see, let me tell you. No, 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 no let me tell you. <laughs> if I met you wants to run in PDP today, and Tampa wants to run in PDP today, I was going to meet you. In wow. PDP. But if in I met you wants to run in APC, and Tampa wants to run in PDP, well, I, Alhamdulillah, I will support the Tambo now. I will not so, make but, a mistake. I'm a party what, man. What happens if there is a realignment? And so of what? Now, oh, it happens all the time. You said it before that the two parties are the same. They move from A to B from B. You can wake up in APC in the morning and go no, to no, bed. I'm actually, I'm actually may not likely realign because you see the way it is today. It's like the first son of uh, Buhari. And so it will be difficult for him to realize. But, it will be difficult. But it's from your state. So it, it, it deserves yeah, support for, from your state. Uh, with, what, uh, uh, with what project here? Yeah. Mention one project in River State. Is it uh, the. They still, uh, they still have about three years to go. No, there, there's not three years. I thought tomorrow is about... No, it's not about. Let's say it's a political period. So the, don't deceive. Or River State will know that. We have, not, we have not got anything from federal government. Oh, is it the one they told you the budget of uh, Meduguri, Patakot, uh, of $1.2 billion on paper? You know, people like to be deceived. And I've been in government. Nobody deceives me. There are more Nobody deceives me. I know when, if you want to help our state, since 2015, they would have shown it. Look, you were the DJ of uh, Bari. Go and do this. To show your people, that was not done. Now nah, two years after, the rain down will be done in one, in one, in one year. Why are we deceiving ourselves? Nobody will do. Okay, I met you so many times for River State. I know you are aware that he said that he's a Igbo because I hear the Nigerians are clamoring that they should zone the position to southeast. Is it for southeast? Equator is it for southeast? Equator is. Is Igbo? No, please don't say that. Please, please. Igbo is not. That. No, that's, what I, that's no. what I read. No, I, no, 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 no. We have a no, no. Which one to respect? I have a relationship, and I will not deny that with Igbos. I will not deny that the Igbos, the South people, have competent people, mature people, to be president of this country. They have them. If they are zoning. 
presidency to the five priests. Presidency is not zone on ethnic group. Presidency is zone on zones. So if you are zoned to the south east, that does not mean if you are from the south south, for example, you have a, a lineage with Igbos, for example, that now makes you to run for that. That's not correct. That's not correct. If you are zoning presidency to south east, you go ahead and zone it to them and let those who are from the south east Run for the president. But that does not mean that because your mother is from the southeast, that qualifies you. No way. It doesn't happen that way. I have told you in our zone here, there's nobody that would deny the fact. Not, even the Calabarese, the Crickers, they have relationship with Ibos. One way or the other. One way or the other. But that does not make you to say, now nah, because president is going to southeast. You are not the side is president. I don't what kind of system is that? What kind of system is that? I will not succumb to that. If you like, carry the presidency 20 times to the southeast. I have no role. All I know, if you send it to them, it's PDP, I will fight for them to win. But nobody should tell me, you know, you have a link. What's a link? You don't have a link to anywhere. You want not run for why not run as president of Southwest? Don't you have a link to the Southwest? Delo means what? Delo means it, what? It's a Yoruba name. Ah, uh, so you're, you're for Yoruba. <laughs> you're for Yoruba. My mom. Oh, my, yeah, mom. Okay, so that qualifies you now. If they zone you to the Southwest, you 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 become you you run for president. I mean, people should face a reality. And that's, I know in this year program, they will abuse me up and down. It doesn't matter. But the truth must be told. I will tell you the truth any day, any time. Wow. Now, the young ones are yes. clamoring yes. that young people yes. below, below 60, of course, yes. if you are qualified, should be the ones running Nigeria. Yes. That's the first question. Do you agree, yes. sir? Number what two. What oh, no, no, no. Said, let me ask you what is that? <laughs> no, you, see, you see, we change shadows. Donald Duke was governor when he was when? Jesse he, Buddy. He was very young. Who, he was very young. Jesse Buddy was governor when he was. was what? Amechi was governor when he was what? He was Buka Buka Sarake was governor. Buka Sarake was governor when he was what? I was governor as, as what? What are we talking about? We are we not used when we became governor? So what are we talking about? Why are you saying that the youth have not been given any opportunity? I'm giving you instances now. No, they said they are <laughs> tired of old, not just age now, old politicians who have been in the system over time and you have messed yes. up the system, that's the argument. And that's uh, what okay. you want to clean, can, can you, can I, Okay, okay. You, they, you. Let me tell you. No, let me tell you. You see, I tell people who are who are commissioners and ministers and the rest. Well, they know young people. If can one man mess up a system without his subordinates? Tell me, can one man mess up a system without his subordinates? The, no, I, I know you you have your special advisors, you have your so SDA so so things. so so you see the point is like I was speaking today. How many young people can stand and face what I'm facing in this country today? Because of my belief and position, how many people? Corruption is not because of your age. Corruption is not because you are 25 years. I was a chairman of council and I tried to set up my uh, young people to go into cement business and the rest. I did that. As a chairman, I tried to call my people, what business can we set up for you? They look at the money they will get in a month. They said, no, no, nah, what is that? I can only end the hundred, two hundred thousand dollars a month. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's it's hard to do it. It is hard to do it. You are training. You are upbringing. Today we are employing five thousand youth into civil service, right? 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 Tell me, you are aware of that? Are you aware of that? Yes. Okay. Now it's been advertised. Now, they believe as you're employing them, their take home salary will be about 500,000 naira as a start point. Is that correct? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you're laughing. You should educate people. Educate them. Where do you start any 500,000 naira? How do you start it? This is a career program that you must run. Let me tell you the issue you are talking about. There are counselors today. Do you know how much, as counselors, that youth, how much they want to earn? A counselor, as a youth, wants to earn not less than one point something million a month. That counselor, is he 60 years old? Is he an old politician? Nobody wants to face the reality. The issue is not what as a youth. I agree. The youth must be engaged. But the point to say the youth must take, the youth are they not the ones that are held at the affairs of government? Make the calculation. Take the statistics. Must it be only when you're a president or a governor that you now know that you are the hands of affairs of government? A youth is appointed as a commissioner. A youth is appointed as a minister. A youth is even a governor. Can they not tell us, well, as you're a governor, as a youth, what are your performances? What do people do? It's not an issue of, oh, for who are those who have been there? Okay, yes, kill all those who have been there. Would that bring the, 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 the required the development, the, the people who are going to say, well, we have killed the people, this is our own turn to. So I don't think that is the, the, the best way to go. The best way to go is to say, look, let the right thing be done. And how would the right thing be done? Allow marriage to flow. Allow nepotism. Don't allow nepotism. Leave this ethnicity. Leave this religious uh, background. If you don't come from here, you won't get this. If you don't come from here, you won't get that. And for me, that is the ultimate. I have established the Rimadir Academy to grow the skills of the youth. I have, I have allowed KPMG to be one to recruit the teachers who train them. KPMG to train them. You know how expensive it is for KPMG for you to pay KPMG. But the point is, we must not begin to think that, except when people say the youth, the youth, the youth. Who are the youth now? The youth, is it the hooligans or the hoodlums that went to take over the place? I don't know youth. Then they tell me now, those, uh, those hoodlums, I don't know youth. Well, they claim that polit politicians use them as hoodlums, and then okay. they get okay. okay, okay, I agree. They, they they use you. Somebody put a gun on your head. No, politicians pay them. Oh, fine. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, they politicians use. pay them. Oh, good. They pay you. They have no good to go, no good uh, education, yes. no yes. hope in life. So but they will they will look, find look, something look, to look. do. Look, you see. Let me tell you, which may be a very wrong analogy, or you may not like it, but the truth must be told. You know what my people say? A man, a son who wants to sleep with the father's wife will say she was naked and passed, and so she, he has to hijack her. 
It is not today you have planted or you have planned to sleep with your father's wife. Your father's wife is your mother. If she was naked, you remove your eye. Right? If I have not planned evil, if I have not planned evil, I want to commit evil. You bring money to me. I will tell you, my friend, go. Yes, I need money, but I will not involve in this thing. But because you applied evil, you are not using as a school unemployment. Nobody will say you support the rate of unemployment. Nobody will say so. Those who love you are talking about cannot be. I will not be people who have, who have love for this country. Okay. You are going to destroy all the properties. You are going to destroy all the shopping centers. You are going to loot everything. Would that solve the problem? Would that solve the problem? Oh, God, it's very sad. Now, are you not going to are you not going to now see how you raise money even from them to pay for those properties to be brought back? All I expected from everybody to say, look, we are hungry. No work. Every junction. Every youth. Stay at every junction. Take your phone. Stay on the ground. Lie on the ground. Sleep there. To show we're angry. To show we, we need a job. It's not to go to allow hoodlums to go and begin to destroy and kill people in the favor of unemployment. Now has employment come? Strategy is important. You have watched what happens. Even, even, even uh, Donald Trump, look at the campaigns. Look at the demonstration against him. Even when they killed the black people, people demonstrated. People went to loot. Did you see where people were killing anybody? Everyone said, no way, no way, no way, no way. All this, you take a skill, you know, because they're hungry. That's why they've got born down MPA. That's why they've got born down police station. Hunger will make you to burn down police station. How does police create a job for you? How does police create a job for you? You know, but so we, 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 and the problem we have is you, you the media. You the media. Take off me where they're going wrong. And that's what I told the guild of editors. We have lost it. Every day people are arranging, I watch for us. I watch for this person. I watch for this. But nobody will come and tell us, look, you're not doing well, you're not doing well. But it's a word, a word, a word, a word, a word. I'm sure by December now, this year, you will see that. I'm not talking about you. I said, uh -huh. I was going to say, those of us who write things about government, we are, the, we are regarded as enemies. No. It doesn't no matter. Person, no personage. Nobody. No, no, you don't need personage. But God I, has God made. Are you hungry today? No. Are you hungry? To no. the glory of God, to God. the glory of God, you are doing your work. People recognize it. Then, as I tell you, if not somebody like you, I will not appear. I don't know that. Thank you. I appear because I believe you are, you are going to do the right thing. Not supporting mm -hmm. me. You never told me. I called you. Why are you? Why are you? Why am I the one? He said, look, you are, you are taking... I mean, people were asking. Of people my, 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 asking. my viewers were asking for you. Every day, everybody Fine. Asking. Yes. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm trying to do. So you're not that kind of person. But I, I challenge the guild of editors, you have lost your voice. Hmm. You people came and said, occupy Nigeria again, Jonathan. What has happened today? Everybody's gone. Nothing is happening because we are sold our conscience. When you speak, nobody, oh, you know, even governors among themselves, they've lost it. We have lost it. We have played party politics. Nobody wants to speak the truth. When you speak the truth, 
They deny you what you're entitled to. But it doesn't matter. Today I will may not get it. Tomorrow I will get it. I'm not there. Somebody who comes will get it. But the point must remain that you must speak the truth at all times. You must. You must. You want Nigeria that. If you don't speak the truth, God will not forgive all of you. Because of what we get, Nigeria is not moving well. And everybody's keeping quiet. People will come and tell lies that the governor of state want to kill Ibos and you want to believe that? I mean, any same person who want to believe such a thing, the same people who have been praising me of the only governor performing today and the one now want to kill Ibos simply because I said, look, you guys who are high poor people, you are not the mouthpiece of the Ibos. And therefore, even if you are the mouthpiece of Ibos, you can't take criminality. You cannot kill innocent soldiers and policemen. To destroy my state, I will not agree to that. If you like, say whatever you want to say. If you like, like, like they say, okay, you, you want to be vice president, we won't vote for you. Look, let me tell you. All those ones are, luckily we don't have what we call the male voter, the one they are trying to be in America to rig the drum out to make their votes. We don't have that. But even if you have that, I mean they're there. So nobody should. I will do what I will do. Nam the Kano does not have what it takes to threaten me or threaten any reverse person or any Niger Delta person. I will not. The Ibos have come out clearly against him. The governors have come out clearly against him. We don't like their modus operandi. When I went to the Wusik, does one man alone state to say he wants to secede from Nigeria? Does one man alone? Does not require the consensus of the opinions of the people? Does not require all of us to talk, assuming we are the same people? Then you want people to be sending money to you. You are, you are a Jewish. Then you carry to well your leg. And then you say, a radio Biafra, now the camera has said, Keep this person, keep it. And everybody running. And you yourself, you are, you are going to interview him to make him important. No, no, then I shouldn't be giving this kind of thing to me. No, the camera should come to the ground. My, my duty is to inform. Information is power. It's very important that we speak to everybody. Saints and sinners, it's very important that we talk to them. No, if I don't have you to inform. Don't inform us. About what Satan says. Uh -huh. no, even, in Bible, even, what Satan in says. Bible, even in the Bible, yes. the Bible reports yes. Satan. The Bible reports no, 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 no. Satan. But, but, but Bible reports the, 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 the activities. No, 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 no. Bible reports the activities of Satan, and that was why God sent away Satan. This is what you are doing now. You are reporting for the agents of Satan to be emboldened to continue to do the atrocity. Which all, he, he, to all he did is to explain his own vision and mission. What did he say? To say that all you were so people. No, no, tell me. No, I don't to say that, that to, kill, to kill. No, 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 no. You no, don't say don't do this. That would be unfair. Look at the constitution of Nigeria. Look at the what is there. Don't tell us about history. Don't tell us about constitution. Then you are well read. Each time I read your piece at the back page of this day, I read the three, four, three, five, even I understand what you are talking about. Because of the high level of intelligence. No, but it's true. So you, you will tell me that the history, what history? You know, constitution is clear. Look at what was stated. And then somebody will come and tell you, kill any policeman you see. Kill any army man you see. And, you, and, and we shall accept that. For what the reason it is. Okay. Even people will not be army people again. When you are army for. The day that they are Yaribo, when you wear a police uniform, the day that they are Yaribo, so if you say a policeman, kill him. If you say a army man, kill him. What kind of society are we in? What kind of society are we in? We must condemn this. We must condemn it. But let me tell them, anywhere I'm traveling to, I will announce it. If I'm going to London, I will announce it. If I'm going to speak up, and I dare, I dare, and the Canada is good. I dare them to come 
what they will see in their life, they will never, they won't believe it. I dare them. I'm not the people they will come and say, oh, they went and attacked you, but I don't know, you know, they should know that we're, some of, we're from Niger Delta. I'll go to Spain, I'll tell them I'm going to Spain tomorrow. I'll go to America, I'll go to America. Let them, let them organize, let them help organize. And see the way we we'll treat them. And people should not be treating, treating people up and down as if they have monopoly of violence. Mr. Mr. Governor, sir, I know time is fast spent, but I must talk about rivers. The rivers yes, yes. of your dream. Could yes. you please tell us what you've been doing uh, since you have been governor? I'm interested in that because. Ah. Then uh, that will take another four hours. <laughs> you promised me you are coming tomorrow to Rivers. <laughs> I will do everything you can. Even if it means us to do everything to bring you to Rivers tomorrow, you have to come. You spend one week or two weeks. <laughs> no, no, with due respect. No, 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 no. It's not. Uh, that's why we're having a as journalists. You have to spend at least two weeks to go around the 22 local government of River State and see with your eyes and what we have been doing, not what I what I will tell you. When the guild of editors came, I told them divide yourself, go. Even they did not go around. So do me that favor. Whatever logistic it is, River State Government will be come and see. Take your camera people, go to the 23 local government and tell Nigeria what I saw. It's not what I say, though. No. What we can say is not what's on ground, though. Don't do me any favor. Don't do me any favor. So I will not waste your time here to tell you what I've been doing. No. But I can tell you the dream I have is the rivers of unity. Rivers of where their potentials for which to actualize. Rivers of where the founding fathers, without where you come from, you have the same opportunity. Not the rivers of ethnicity, rivers of acrimony, rivers of disunity. No, no. I want the rivers of unity. You feel that we can work together, go to anywhere, and be proud that a rivers man and woman. That is my own dream. But as for what we have been doing, no. You come with your team. Come with your team. Stay two weeks. Go back. Tell Nigerians. I went. I saw. I can tell you not what the governor told you. I will not go with you. People will go with you and show you one by one, one by one. Two weeks. If you even stay two weeks, I finish. I will thank you. I say, look, you have the strength. They say wow. upland, you say upland, if I write this, this. You know, politicians, we have everything. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you in politics. Maybe before you end up, you know, one thing I've learned and the book as a practical politician and which I will recommend to every politician or everybody who wants to be in leadership position to read Dr. Audley's book, Conscience and History, My Story. I will recommend that book. In fact, I will tell Dr. Peter Audley tomorrow, who is my leader, sir, can you make available more of that? The state government will want to pay to help Nigerians to read that book, Conscience and History, my story. You will cry about this country. You will know the politicians don't be carried away as I'm talking with you. Dele, don't be carried away as I say, Dele, you're one of the intelligent people. No, don't be carried away. 
when you read that book, you have a think. You know about politicians. So, I owe you a duty. If you send your people, I'll tell the computer today, sir, allow us to produce 2,000 copies of those books and send to you people, carry Send it to Nigeria. Send it to people wherever you are. Let them read. Nigerians, Ghanaians, other African countries. Let them read that book. Right? Conscience. Conscience. And history. And history. My story. Then you cry. You will not even relate even with me as a politician. You will not relate with me. It's so unfortunate. That is one book. I will never miss in my life. And if you ask me, mentorship, that's one book that has mentored me, that has told me, look, this is what it is as for leadership, where you are coming to and where you are going to live. Not the one we read about fiction, you know, stories. This is practical, practical when you read them. And then tell it, you call me back. I read this book. You know typical Nigerians in politics. This is my transition period. I can tell you, having read that book, what I'm passing through. Mm. I can tell you, having read that book, it's like expo, you know, mm. exam made easy. When you read that Dr. Peter Lee's book, and you are, you are seeing a transition, you are seeing human beings. You cannot appreciate what the man wrote. Conscience and history. My story. It's unfortunate. I will make sure you get the books where you come. I don't Thank you. you Thank you very much. What is your philosophy of power? Before we go, I would like to know, is it Machiavellian or what is it? Well, no, that, because is, you are well, very... You are a very strong leader, and a lot yes. of people tend to appreciate that in leadership, where you are very what strong, is, very nah, fair. No, no, no. What is what, what is about Kevela? What is about Kevela? The end justifies the means. No, you see, that's the problem we have. Let me tell you. I said, you see, what makes a leader to be strong is the people. Is the people when they are when the people are part and part of what you are doing, you are very strong. But when the people do not know what you are doing, when there's no disconnect, when there's no communication, then the issue of Machiavelli comes in. Force. Machiavelli will tell you whatever. You see, power. The end justifies the means. No, I don't agree. I don't agree. Whatever I want to do today, my people must be involved. When they are involved, you become a hero. But when you don't involve them, that's the problem. That you now want, want to coerce, to use whatever forms to make yourself to be a strong leader. That's not leadership. Leadership is Joseph, Mary, as A, B, come. Look, what do we do? How do we go about it? Put our hands together. We we'll disagree, but we will agree. By the time we agree, we are all strong. Then you, as a leader, because the man whom the, the people will not think you are the strong best person, but the strength that who who is strong is the people that the ones who made you, and that's what I see as power. Power is not that naked or raw power. Power is not that easy often to bamboozle everybody. No, no, that's not power. Power for me is the ability to. Organize your people to let them be part and decision making, and then things will begin to move. And then people will say, This guy is a powerful person. Don't touch him. If you touch him, the people will react because the people are aware, they're involved in your decision making. That is what I see as power. A lot of people have complained that, especially from the Niger Delta that as rich as well endowed as the Niger Delta is, it has been underdeveloped. Do you, do, you, do you see any hope 
in the horizon for the people of the Niger Delta. I just want you to help me. Mention the class of people, you see? You see, let me tell you. When you, people, when, people, when you say people say, there are those who want to be governors of the Niger Delta, they have their own view. But if you tell me, those who are not governors, you see, you see this thing we are playing, I read today, I read today, I met my friend of mine, I remember some of them, and I read one man, I don't know his name, one man who is only looking for power to be, I used to be advisor to president of the last, uh, National Assembly. And here is the advisor to president now. And I got that. What is the I don't know. I mean, from a while, I don't know. I don't know. I hardly know people, uh, these people, their names. I hardly know them. Uh, oh, no. Why this boy? Okay, he turned now. You know him. You know him, he turned now. I just remember. I hardly remember these people, this type of people, their names. It is very unfortunate. They say the Niger Delta governors are not using their money for the development of the oil communities. I didn't know that illiteracy has come to that level. The, the, that boy, that boy, I call him a boy. They say he was a former senator. I, I, I never regard I call him a boy. Talking about, he went far to say, the flyover that Wiki is consulting. Look at the man who can know an election calling me Wiki. Flyover that Wiki is that development for the communities. I don't know the school he went to. Ask him what is development. Is it so the body will be carried and be given to the chiefs? The money will be carried and be given to the chiefs. You are saying the flyovers are being protocol is not for the oil development community. How does it disturb the community that produce oil in the state? How does it determine that? A whole community, a whole city. And I challenge him. The oil money that they carry to develop Abuja is Abuja an oil uh, development uh, community. But protocol is an oil development community. There are hardly any part of River State that not produce the uh, oil. So how can that boy touch the higher level of illiteracy and ignorance? If the federal government pays 13% and in a month. No, 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 I have no. I, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Okay, I can hear you. You are okay. manipulating it. It was, yeah, it was, it was freezing, yes. No, it's not freezing. No, when people want to play, when people want to play, they do it. They do it, don't want to hear it, want to. Uh, uh, not, it. not me. Yes. You, you, okay, okay, you, okay. I believe you. Know, you. you know me. I, I you believe you. Me. I believe you. <laughs> now, 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 if, assuming in this month, I get the revelation of 3 billion naira, he has sent me to tell the 3 billion naira, I'm going to share to the oil uh, communities. But to tell you the level of illiteracy, I share the money as for development in all parts of River State. And in, luckily, all parts of the produce oil. So who is it to tell me that we don't use the 13 percent for the oil development communities? That's why he came to River State here to create an autonomous uh, autonomous communities. An advisor to President of Niger Delta, his duty is to come and create autonomous communities. He was lucky. To tell you development, but no, I will agree with you. No, based on NDC, NDC is a total failure. River State is one state that went to court to challenge NDC. 
that they have no powers to do any contract in, in any state of the region without the approval of the state government. And we want that matter. And they've tried to appeal. What are you appealing for? You come to my state. I, the state government, owns this private and secondary school. Federal government does not rob private and secondary schools. Then you go to my school to build six classroom block. You don't know the plans of the state government. You do not tell them. You do road of a close to what politicians have. They share the money. Do you know the state government are doing projects that they are doing?